Welcome back to 7 billion humans. We've already killed quite a few, so let's take a look. We're already at 7 years in this company where we guide our fellow employees and try to save them from certain death. Yes, indeed, this is a coding game. We've reached career milestone 2, so now it's time for some dynamic angles. Okay, so now a real challenge. We're supposed to make a diagonal out of these cubes. And we've actually unlocked some optional challenges. So let's ask the boss for some optional challenges. So first optional challenge, use five or fewer commands. And optional speed challenge, complete in seven, that's a six, <laughs> six or fewer seconds. Does it mean just the execution time, so how long they take? All right, let's see. So obviously you're gonna step down and then you're gonna pick up a cube. What then? I think you should keep going until there is no cube next to you on the left side. So if on the left of you there isn't a cube or a worker, no, a cube, I think that's gonna be a worker with a cube then you drop the cube and then you should jump to the start let's just try and see how this goes so I'm gonna go step by step so Denise here is gonna step down everyone is stepping down now they should pick up their cubes and is there a data cube next to them there should be to all of those people there is oh hang on so there isn't Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel this and use an or here. Or if there isn't a person next to you. Let's try again. So again, step, pick up, and now. Is there a cube or a person on the left side of you? It should be true for all of those. I said if there isn't a data cube. So for you, there is a data cube on the left, so you shouldn't drop. Why did you drop? Let's change it to there is. Why did you drop it? What? What? This doesn't make sense. So let's watch Denise right now. I'm gonna step down, pick up the cube, and now evaluate. Is there a cube next to you? There is. So this if is false which means you shouldn't drop, but you should jump instead. Oh, and she did! That's great, so now she's gonna step, pick up, which she can't, and there isn't a data cube next to her, so she should drop that. And now step again, with nothing to pick up. All right, that's good. But the others, at this point, when evaluating the if statement, on the left side, there isn't a cube next to them, but there's a person. And I want them to keep going until there isn't a person. Oh, I should have done an end, I think. So here, next to you, there isn't a worker. Let's try running that. Okay, I messed up, since she's always stepping down as well. So how about this? Then you pick up. I want them all to step down and pick up. Right? That's gonna keep happening. And the jump is gonna be in the else statement. Yes, 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 that's it. I think I've got it now. I'm gonna put it the way it was before and now it should work. Nothing to pick up, yes, so you should drop it down. They should go and keep dropping those and stopping there. Okay, great. I did it. But hold on. We haven't completed a single optional challenge. We need to use five or fewer commands and do all this under six seconds. Now, they tell us here that it might actually not be possible to complete both of those optional challenges at once, which is what I thought. It seems to be a little impossible. So first, we should work on our speed. The picking up part when there's nothing to pick up takes a long time so I want them to step down pick up and then step down again and after that you can keep doing your logic here which means stop wasting time with picking up when there's nothing to pick up but 
Apart from that, the code should work exactly the same way as before. And it does. Awesome. So here we were working on our speed. Brilliant! As you see, the target was 6 seconds and we made it in 5. But now we added extra command, so we're at 7. So now let's forget speed and just try to do 5 commands. Or fewer, but that's not possible, I believe. So we're gonna need step down and pick up, and we're gonna repeat that as we did before. But this here is 6 commands. So we need to do it a little more efficiently. I'm just gonna try to put these two commands inside the if statement. And let's run that and see whether it works or not. Oh, it doesn't. They just keep dropping it. Why is that? Oh, hang on! They can pick up a cube which is under them. So there, pick up the cube. And then step down and keep evaluating. All right, let's see how this goes. Yes, that's great, it's working, but there are still too many commands. Six of them to be precise. So let's try putting this jump after that if statement. So if you drop, then you're just gonna keep stepping down, I think. Yes, it's working, awesome, we've done it. Five commands, that's great. Oh, hold on, and still, it did still take us just five seconds? Oh, that's brilliant! So let's continue to the elevator. And I see that there were some challenges on the levels below as well. So let's get back to level 5 and ask about the challenges. Optional challenges, 3 seconds, we've done that, that's easy. Use 5 or fewer commands. Alright, let's see. And we've used quite a few. Okay, I see what we can optimize a little. Here we're saying, if there's a data cube on the left of you, then step, pick it up, and then keep walking to the left. What we can actually do is get rid of this step and say, if there's data cube on the left, keep walking to the left and trying to pick up a cube. So on the first step they're gonna pick up a cube, and then they're gonna try to pick up a cube after they step again, but there's not gonna be any cube there which doesn't matter. And let's try doing the same thing here. So now we are at 8 commands. Which is still too many. How many did we need? 5? Oh yeah, we need 5. Mm, this is really bad. So let's try to see whether this actually works. Yes, it works. So what else can we do? It's interesting how it's easy to actually see how you, it should be done. You would just say, walk in the direction of the data cube. When you need to code it, you can't actually say it like that. So here I have two cases, once the cube is on the left side, one it's on the right side. I need to specifically say if it's on the left side, you walk left. And if it's on the right side, you walk right. I'm thinking about telling them like keep walking until you reach the hole and then go the other way. But I also can't do that because there are holes on either sides and I actually want them to fall into one of them. That's just crazy. I sadly have absolutely no idea how I should actually improve this code. I need to get rid of three commands in total and I feel like I can't do it. No, I think I can't do it. 